Bob's Playground. Hooray! This is the Darren Harris Podcast. Here's your host, Darren Harris. Check one, two, one, two, mic check. Welcome back to the program. I'm Darren Harris. This is my show. How you feeling? How's your mental health this week? Hopefully it is good. Mine has been better. I've been having some bad weeks. I won't say bad, just I guess some mediocre weeks. And it's time to have some good weeks. So I've made a couple of adjustments in my lifestyle and in my life in general. Some choices that I've made, some things that I've come to to grips with, and some things that I'm okay with. But I am serious. How's your mental health? I'm always going to check on you, make sure everybody's good because the world's fucked up, right? Everything in it. Right now, look around, man. Look around. Look around the globe. The world is fucked up. And people are steady trying to fuck it up more. It's funny. <laughs> but I've chosen something. I've I've chosen, at least for a little while, I've chosen to just kind of decompress I made a social media post yesterday the past couple days about the extreme disrespect in this country amongst Americans we're a bunch of fucking children we never grew up we're a bunch of fucking freshmen in high school pushing pushing people around just bullying everybody that's what we are man that's who we are we need to get off of our high horse thinking that Americans are these virtuous, upstanding people. Because look around, man. We're a bunch of fucking douchebags. We really are. And we stand up in it. And we claim to be right about it. And it really is kind of shitty. Because here we have two sides. One fighting for this and one fighting for that. What we really need is two sides... Maybe three, but everybody fighting for the people of America, not for their careers or monetary gain, because that's ultimately what it is. Very few of these people in power are doing things to actually help people. And that's on both sides. That's bipartisan as a motherfucker. There's guilt on both sides, but both sides claim that you know everybody's guilty. And their side is innocent. That's what both sides have always done. And it's gotten to the point where there's a lot of just false information. Just shit they want you to believe in order to get you to form a negative opinion about the people or the ideologies that you oppose. They've got you convinced that if somebody votes liberally, they are the fucking devil. And if somebody votes conservatively, they're fucking racist and Hitler. And I'll tell you what, there's truth to both. Because of what it's made us into, what this what this political institution has turned us into. And they have done this, whether you like to admit it or not. They've done this on purpose because, honestly, at the end of the day, they could have just left us the fuck alone. Or really, they could have took what we said instead of doing what they wanted, springing the shit that they want to do on us and us going, "Mm, what what do you think about that? Does that look good? How about that? No, what you need to do is take suggestions from motherfuckers, from real people who live down here. Come to the fucking neighborhoods. But no, they sit in a boardroom with computers and graph charts and they, they claim to know what the pulse of society is. And it's ridiculous. It really is. You don't know the pulse of society until you walk around in society. And if you're sitting up there on on your high horse, passing laws or breaking them, then, then you're out of touch with society. And you're out of touch with reality. And you're out of touch with with the American people. And that that's again on both sides. And again, both sides are guilty. 
But you know what I always say? And this is something that I say, and I've coined this phrase, and I'm going to fucking copyright it so don't steal my shit. But I always say that people hate being guilty of the shit they're guilty of. I always say that shit. People hate that shit. Listen to that shit again. People hate being guilty of the shit they're guilty of. I mean, look at this guy. Oh, I think presidents should have immunity. I mean, presidents majorly have immunity anyway, but now it's it's unclear when you get to use the immunity card. They have not you you can use it for official for official government, you know, for as an official act of the president, but but they didn't define what official acts are. So anything could be an official act. Anything. Therefore, granting people total and complete immunity or granting precedence. You know, but my thing is this. My thing has always been this. Why the fuck do you need immunity if you ain't doing nothing wrong? It's that simple. Why do you need immunity if you ain't fucking guilty as a motherfucker? Why? Why? I mean, I just don't understand why you even have to ask for it. Why would it even cross your fucking mind? Why? Because there's fucking a whole bunch of charges against this dude. A bunch of charges. And I'm sorry, motherfuckers just don't make everything up. People just don't make everything up. You know, to every lie, there is an air of truth. And some lies are just flat out lies. And some lies are just flat out true. If you do it, you should be held responsible for it. You shouldn't be let off for it. You should take your fucking licks to show your base that you are like them. The same people who've got to put up with, not really put up, but take their licks in society. If I make a mistake, I got to hold myself accountable. This is a prime way for people not to show accountability. You know, now he doesn't have to show any accountability. For a long time, over the last four years, three and a half years, all they've done is trash the sitting president, the guy in charge right now. And it's no news, but if you haven't heard, which you'd have to be in a fucking cave or under a rock somewhere to not hear this at the bottom of the ocean, space or some shit, but Joe Biden is done. He's gone out of the race. So, Kamala Harris is going to be the Democratic nominee. It's just what it is. Some people are upset about it because they say they didn't get a choice. They feel like they didn't get a choice. And I kind of, I mean, I kind of understand that. You know, you want to, you want to feel like you have, you know, a choice in picking the candidate that best represents your views. I completely understand that. But honestly speaking, I don't really think anybody wanted the job with a hundred days left. I don't think anybody could have really pulled it off in a hundred days. There's a lot of factors that go into a campaign. But people feel like they were duped and they knew about this. So, and I say that because both sides do a lot of dirty, sneaky, underhanded shit. They really do. Both sides. And that's what America doesn't understand. And that's what we, we need to start doing is we need to start holding our politicians accountable. How about that, folks? How about we start holding these people accountable for the shit that they do to us? For the shit they promise us and don't follow through on? For all the fucking divisive rhetoric that they spew in, into the media? For out here for us to consume to purposefully keep us divided. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. 
Why keep us divided? Why split us down the middle? And why fall for it? I mean, really? You're just going to fall for that, right? <laughs> I don't understand. It's like nobody's got any backbone. It's like we wait for these people to tell us how to think or what to vote for. They make these laws, but the laws are supposed to be for us. But I'm going to tell you something about laws. And I've always felt this way about laws. A lot of laws are people's personal preference. A lot of these laws are people's personal preference. Okay? A lot of these laws are people's personal preference. Okay? And I'm dead serious. People need to mind their fucking business. Either that or sit down with some people and learn about some shit as opposed to just dismissing shit because you don't like it or it doesn't line up with what you want. Well, you know what? Some shit that you want doesn't line up with what other people want. That's one thing that it, it just fucking it, it, it blows my whole head up how somebody could want something so bad for themselves but don't understand that they too are guilty of doing things that people don't necessarily like or follow like their way has to be the way because this is obviously white because right because this is the way I feel about it this is that's bullshit that's bullshit a lot of times it's bullshit there's a difference between just talking shit and feeling and knowing shit Recently, my wife and I decided that we were going to try to change our diet because we want to live a little more healthy. Now, we usually go to Whole Foods, but Whole Foods is really far, like really far because we live kind of in a rural area. My producer told me about this Factor Foods and I wanted to see what it was about, so I decided to place an order. Now, I haven't gotten my first box yet, but from what I understand, you can choose from like six menu preferences. There's 35 different meals, 55 different add-ons. You don't have to get in your car and drive anywhere. You don't have to go shopping for anything. You don't have to come home and prep anything after work. You don't have to wash any dishes or any clean anything up afterwards. It's ready in two minutes in the microwave. It's awesome if you're trying to meet weight loss goals or wellness goals, or if you just want to eat better food. You can tailor a specific diet for yourself. It doesn't matter what it is. If you're looking for a high protein, protein diet or completely vegan options it literally does not matter you could be a lactose intolerant pescatarian that only eats salmon broccoli and brussels sprouts and they will send it to you every single meal every single day for the rest of your life if you want to now that's a little extreme but you know what i mean and the absolute best part about it for me is it's always fresh and never frozen which is a really big deal and it's delivered right to your front door so i'm extremely excited to get my first box to see what the hype is about i think it's great you can get chef quality food delivered right to your house with no cleanup no shopping no prep work no problem if you want to try it out for yourself which i think you should you can head over to factormeals.com forward slash darren 50 to get 50 percent off your first box but wait there's more you also get 20 percent off your entire next month so again factormeals.com forward slash darren 50 to get 50 percent off that first box that you order and 20 percent off your entire next month so keep checking back with me keep listening to the podcast and i will definitely let you know as soon as i get this first box how everything went down so one more time it's factormeals.com forward slash darren 50 to get 50 percent off of your first box and 20 percent off your entire next month now because of this this whole joe biden dropping out of the race and kamala harris now being the you know presumed you know presidential nominee there's been a lot of fucking a lot of angst and 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 vitriol and name calling and and just fighting I had a fight with somebody that, man, me and this person, we were friends for, man, my whole life, one of my oldest friends. This past week, we fell out. We fell the fuck out. And we fell out hard. Now, we fall out a lot, but we fell out hard this time, real hard, over this political nonsense, over this bullshit 
the way this whole country has both of us thinking about each other and this country. We fell the fuck out. I told him, don't ever call my phone again. I've known this person my whole life. But based on his beliefs and based on my beliefs, I told him not to call me no more. Don't call me, man. And I'm dead ass serious. You know, if you're always looking to tear something down without turning around and looking at what you're defending in the mirror, then don't bring it to me. All right? And I say this too, sweep your own fucking porch before you come over here trying to sweep mine. Turn that mirror around on yourself and the things that you represent and the things that you believe in and see and ask, is that beneficial for all people, all Americans, or just the ones that I give a shit about? The fact that we have... We have to debate whether or not to continue gender affirming care for people who identify as a specific sex is stupid. And I'm going to tell you why, because it's my fucking body. And if I decide I want to chop my fucking dick off and put a fucking vagina, there should be nothing you have to say about it. Period. Period. But motherfuckers don't give a shit. They'll send a woman in there to get the biggest titties they ever saw. They'll go in there and fucking get their dick chopped up so they can add four or five more inches so they can be the fucking man. I don't know what the fucking difference is. And, oh, ah, this too. Mind your fucking business. Mind your business. Am I bothering you or are you just over here staring at me in disgust because you don't like what I look like or you don't like how I dress or the color of my skin. That's your fucking hang up. I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's you. That's you. Now, this is what I think should happen. If you have those issues, all right, you have those issues. Come over there and talk to me about it. Don't dismiss me. Don't try to take away my rights because you think I'm not even a person because how dare you, you arrogant motherfucker. I'm just as human as you are. All of these people are. Every last one of us, the black ones, the brown ones, the yellow ones, the white ones, all of us are the same, man. We are the same fucking thing. We like some shit. We don't like other shit. It's that simple. That doesn't mean we need to pass laws to hurt people. I mean, what the fuck is that? Gendering, gender affirming care for minors. That's the issue for minors. Gender affirming care for minors. Where do you stand on this? I stand with the parents. Whatever the fuck y'all feel like you want to do. If you want to do it for your kids, you do that shit for your kids. If you don't want to do it for your kids, don't do it for your kids. It's that simple. Leave me and my children the fuck alone. Period. Period. I mean, I don't I don't know how else to fucking put it. Mind your fucking business. That's really what what laws really are about is people really not being able to mind their fucking business to the point where shit becomes escalated to the point where either people are getting hurt or violated against. And that's really what it is. So we have to create these laws. But some of these laws still hurt people. And that's we don't. Well, that's the thing that we don't understand, or maybe some of us do, but that that politicians don't care about. These people don't care that their divisiveness hurts America, and that's the truth. They don't care that their divisiveness hurts the rest of us, because it really does. It takes its toll. Think about it like this, folks. If these motherfuckers was never talking about none of this shit and we just woke up every day and went and did the things that we did every day and came home to our families and lived every day, there wouldn't be any of this shit. 
You know what I'm saying? There wouldn't be any of this shit. But the fact that we have motherfuckers sitting back in these rooms with closed doors in these little fucking back alley meetings, making our future, building our future, constructing my life behind their bullshit. Think about it. There's so many people who have been marginalized and and shit on and hurt and, and killed because of some dude sitting back in these fucking rooms. And that is on both sides. That's on both sides. So stop with the Democrats did this and the Republicans did that. Shut the fuck up with it. Okay? Democrats? Okay? Republicans? Shut the fuck up. We need to find real solutions to the problem in our country. Starting with the number one problem, which is racism. I don't care what you say. It's not the economy. It's not any of that shit. The number one problem that we need to address in America is racism. Okay? Oh, you can turn it. I'm going to turn this podcast off now because everybody. Yes, turn it the fuck off then. If that's who you are and you want to coward out and you want to bitch the fuck out, bitch out. Bounce the fuck on this podcast is for people who really want to change the actual narrative of what's going on and that's why i'm so passionate about the shit i talk about because i'm trying to change this shit people need to wake up and understand the first thing the first problem that we have in this country is racism now how the fuck do we get rid of it how in the fuck do we stop this shit that is fucking up our country we really could be a great place this could be the greatest country on the face of the earth but instead we suck ass we're one of the worst people talk the most shit about us because we don't do anything but talk shit about ourselves and each other we are fucking children you hear me america Everybody out there, we are fucking children who want what we want. And if we don't get what we want, we throw a fucking tantrum. We are fucking children. What are we going to do, America? I mean, honestly, what the fuck are we going to do? Now, historically, I vote Democrat. And this time around, I'm going to vote Democrat. Again, I'm going to vote Democrat again. And I'm telling you who I'm voting for right off the fucking bat. And I'm telling you why. Because it's the first, first and foremost, regardless of whether you like this woman or not, she is in the position that she is in because she is intelligent and she has worked hard. Okay? People say, Oh, she's a DEI hire. DEI hire. I hate that shit. And you know what? But I learned from DEI. For me, DEI stands for definitely earned it. And the reason why is because we have to be 10 times better at everything in order to get looked at for anything. People of color in general. People of color, especially black people, but people of color, they have to jump through so many hoops. And they say it like like she wasn't intelligent enough to to get this on her own. She had to be she had to be, she had to be hired. She had to be hired by somebody who who believe because these people don't believe that she could actually have the brain capacity to get these things or get these accolades or hold this position on her own merit. That's ridiculous. That's racist and sexist at the same time. But they don't see the hypocrisy. They're for America, right? <laughs> You're a fucking dumbass. You're jealous. You're fucking angry. You're mad because somebody's challenging you. You're mad because you're afraid somebody's going to uproot what you have built. Fuck you. I saw something the other day that said Gen Zers are 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 going to decide 
this election. And they're showing baby boomers the door. And they should have saw the door a long time ago. I hate to say it, but all you baby booming motherfuckers out there, this is where all this shit comes from, from you motherfuckers. This is where a lot of this shit came from, from you guys. And you need to go take a fucking nap, just like Joe Biden. Just like President Biden. By the way, thank you, sir, for for dropping out. I do appreciate that. I appreciate that. Because if you'd have stayed, we'd have been fucked. Now we at least have a chance to save our democracy. And that's really ultimately what this about and what I'm voting for. You see, I can take four years of a bad president. What I can't take is a dictator. I can't take that. I can't take that. So in that, I'll gladly take the four years of a bad president. If she's a bad president, who knows? She might very well be the best president we've ever had. Fucking a right. But no, motherfuckers don't even want to give her the credit. They don't want to even give her the 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 respect of of knowing her job of doing her job so well that she advanced to where she is on her merit people don't even believe that there's a bunch of there's a there's a uh, like a interview that's going around on social media that i saw of it's a panel of like six or seven white ladies and they're obviously you know conservative and they're all, I mean, they're obviously all super Karens too. You can completely tell they're all that. And they're, they've all, they're sitting there and their body language is just horrible. Their arms are all folded and just, ah, nah, she couldn't have, ah, she's stupid. Ah, ah. One of the ladies was a school teacher, which I'm concerned because who the fuck's kids is she teaching? Because my kids is coming out of that. And like I said before, like I said before, you might need to pull your kids out of these bullshit ass schools anyway, for real. Especially down here in Florida, because they're creating a bunch of laws. But that's a, a a bunch of laws for bullshit. But that's another podcast. But these ladies were just down on on Kamala Harris, down on her, just down on her, man, just down on her, more down than anybody really should be down. I mean, they and they they, they were relentless. Is there anything that you can, is there any running? No, 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 nothing could ever make me vote for this woman. Well, why not? She's a woman. She's one of you first. So why? What has turned you, a woman, against another woman? Just like the same shit. What? Men. Now, I kind of understand men because men are fucking idiots. But, you know, women have been oppressed for years. You know, women... If anything, women should be able to galvanize and strengthen the base of women. But the fact that, you know, women are tearing down other women is alarming to me. They're not sticking together in this issue. In the issue of what's going on in this country, they're not sticking together. They are choosing to uphold that divide. A lot of them are choosing that. A lot of women are choosing to uphold, uphold that divide. And I know why, but, you know, if I say it, it's going to be real controversial. So I'm going to go ahead and fucking say it. They don't like her because she's not a white woman. They wouldn't attack another white woman. If a white woman decided that she was going to run for president. The attacks that these people are are launching against this lady, I mean, <laughs> it wouldn't be happening. It wouldn't be happening. They they pulled out the fact, people pulling out the fact that she, that, oh, that she liked to get a freak on when she was in college. The fuck does that have to do with anything? The fuck does that have to do with anything? I'm trying to bring up this woman's promiscuous past so the fuck what so what so what did it stop her from doing her fucking job no it probably helped out to get a little dick every now and then or if as frequently as she could whatever the fuck it was it helped whoever she is or whoever the fuck she is you know what i'm saying and i bet you all of it was consensual and over the age of 18 i bet you So what? 
They're making it seem like because she went out and because she went out with Montel Williams. Oh, they got Montel Williams all up there and his sunglasses all all like all nightclubbed out and shit. <laughs> like he was a bad person. Montel Williams is an awesome guy. So what? Who cares? Who fucking cares? Who f- I I for sure don't give a fuck. Judge Joe Brown came out and said, oh, yeah, she was a hoe. And he probably mad because he didn't get the pussy. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Shut your ass the fuck up. Shit ain't even about you anyway. And who gives a fuck about your fucking opinion, man? Simple as that. Okay? I mean, nobody really gives a fuck about my opinion, but I don't really care. I don't really care. And that's 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 where I'm at with it. I don't really care what people think about my opinion. Because I'm entitled to it. Just like everyone else here is entitled to their opinion about what's going on. But it does not need to be disrespectful. And these people are being as disrespectful as they can to this woman. And it's not necessary. I'm going to take a break. I want to come back. We'll keep talking about this shit. This is the Darren Harris Podcast. Now, back to the Darren Harris Podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Today, I'm talking about Vice President Kamala Harris and her ability to lead the country. Is it good for us? Is it bad for us? Can she save democracy or is this a done deal here? Um, I think she's got a pretty good start. I think she's got a pretty good start. And the reason why is because you know, she's, she's raised more money in two days than I think fucking anybody, man. That, I mean, it's like, it's like somebody was going to break your fucking legs and you needed to make this money in a couple of days. And people came through and people are still coming through and people are showing their support. And meanwhile, on the other side, people are launching smear campaigns and she's a hoe and she didn't do anything at the border and so on and so forth. And and the border issue is depends on who you ask. She was asked to stop the violence down at the border and she did. That's how I look at it. And, And I look at it like this. I don't give a fuck if they come here anyway. Come on. That's what America's for, right? Come here. But they're trying to close the borders because they want it to be this all white utopia. And I'm sorry if you were looking for that, then you shouldn't have bought black people over to begin with and you shouldn't have tried to run the natives off of their land. You should have just stayed where you were when where they have this all white area. You know, it's majorly white. That's I mean, but they're trying to make this into that. And I'm sorry, it just can't be and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be all black. It shouldn't be all nothing. It should be all exactly what it says. Give us your tired and your poor, your wretched masses yearning to be free. This is a country of immigrants. Immigrants built this whole thing. Well, slave slave labor and immigrants built this country. We all deserve to be here. We all deserve rights. The same rights as everybody else. If my teeth hurt, I should be able to go to the dentist without getting gouged. Or if I'm a transgender person, I should be able to go to the hospital and have the the surgery to make me feel the person that I want to be. You want to be the person you want to be, right? Let these people be who they want to be. That's the idea of America, to come here and be happy. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of one's happiness. Think about that. People ain't thinking. They've forgotten that. They have forgotten that. That that is one of the principles that we were founded on. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And nobody's happy here. You know why? Because people won't let people live life. (laughs) 
or have liberty. <laughs> and that's why nobody is fucking happy here. What if we tried it? What if we just fucking gave it a shot? <laughs> what the fuck do you think would happen? Probably the greatest thing in the world. Probably just clean this shit right up if we just let everybody live their lives. Live your life, man. Within reason. Now don't go out there murdering motherfuckers. You know, stop stealing from people. You know what I'm saying? Stop it. Stop doing bad shit to people. Stop plotting bad shit. But the reason we plot bad shit is because our government has done bad shit to our society in order to put us in a place where we where where we have to do these things in order to survive. Facts. And they let us spiral out of control and they do it on purpose. They do it on purpose so that they can keep their machine running. They have a machine and it's been running for years and it's in, in danger of conking the fuck out. But they're trying to keep their machine running. They're passing a bunch of legislation to take away a bunch of rights to send society into a place where it's bad. So that they can come in and save the day with the police and lock everybody up and make them do what you want them to do against their will. It's a plan, everyone. And if you don't believe it, you're a dumbass and you're blind. You're a blind dumbass at that. You're a dumbass. That's what it is. And whoever's going to fight against that, I'm going to vote for. You know, I'm sorry that, you know, you might have failed on a couple of things, but all presidents do. Who, what president has ever done everything that they said they were going to do in their term? Not a single fucking one of them. Because there's too much opposition. Too much people saying, ah, well, I don't like that. Well, why the fuck not? It benefits a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Is there a way we can compromise? But that's the thing. There's no such thing as compromise. That word bipartisan is like Bigfoot. You rarely see that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's, it's crazy to, to me that they find it so hard to work together. Not only do they find it hard, they make it hard on purpose to work together. They do it on purpose. They have no desire to work together. It's either got to be mine or it's got to be theirs. I don't understand that logic. I don't understand that ideology when it's all of us that are involved. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't know how we got here. And I don't really know. I mean, I got some ideas, but I don't really know how to get the fuck away from here unless, you know, there are some ways. If we stop embracing the motherfuckers that we're embracing, that's the quickest way to get away from this shit. But we act like, we act like smokers. We act like smokers. You know, one party is like fucking cowboy killers and the other one's like menthol cigarettes. And we smoke them. We smoke <sighs> one after the other, chain smoking. <sighs> these are the best cigarettes. I smoke, this is my brand. I mean, I can't smoke these other cigarettes. <sighs> You're an idiot. You smoke those cigarettes, these cigarettes right here. <sighs> And we smoke these fucking cigarettes and we smoke them down and these motherfuckers are killing us. But we can't put them down. We can't put them down. We keep smoking, them. smoking them down, smoking these fucking cigarettes, smoking these fucking politicians. Hot boxing these motherfuckers. Can't get enough of them. Turn the channel on. All we look for are these fucking people, man. These people run our fucking lives. They pump us full of he fear and hate. They are the ones that are doing it to us. Because I'm going to be honest with you, folks. Although, yes, there is some racism out here. And I live in the south in a rural area of, of, of Florida. And, yes, there is some racism out here. But you know what I do see also? There's a lot of relationships that are built that I see that are Multicultural. There are a lot of multicultural relationships that are out here and have been out here and have been out here and are thriving. And I, I don't, I don't understand, especially in a place like this. 
and I saw, I saw, I saw three old ladies talking one day. It was two white ladies and a black lady, and they were laughing and they were hugging on each other, and laughing and hugging on each other, and laughing. And girl, I miss you, and I love you so much, and laughing and hugging on each other. And then the two white ladies went and got in this car with the, you know, obvious America, make America great again. And this lady went and got in her other car, you know, voting for Biden Harris. And I was like, hmm, I'm intrigued by that. And the reason why they obviously either they don't think things are as bad as they are or they don't really care about each other as deeply as they say they do. Because if they did, they'd both be trying to find a way. They'd all be trying to find a way to stop all of this shit from taking place. Like I said, I had a blow up with with a friend of mine about this Project 2025. And I was running it down to him. Meanwhile, he hadn't done a whole lot of research on it. I've done three podcasts on it. Two or three. And uh, he asked me about it because he listened to last week's podcast. He asked me about it, and I told him about it. and would tell him what I was knowing about it and things that I felt. Oh, well, the, all of these things are speculations. Well, this is things that have been written down and 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 put into that. That this is the playbook. Well, who told you that? Who? Where'd you get this information? The Heritage Foundation. The Heritage Foundation. They're a conservative think tank. Blah 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 blah. Oh, I know about the Heritage Foundation. Yeah. They've been making policy for the Republican Party since fucking long time ago, since before Reagan. And that's what they're still doing. And that's usually the game plan that the Republican Party runs. But how do you know Trump's going to put this into? Well, track record suggests that if you're going with the framework of a particular I mean, it's like it's like having repeat business. It's like me going to get my fucking car washed at a place that really, you know, or my hair cut someplace that really cuts my hair really good. You know, if they're doing good for us, then why fucking switch them? So if this place has been making policy for the conservative party since, I don't know, forever, then what the fuck could change now? Well, he hasn't renounced it. Well, he ha- I mean, he hasn't he hasn't said that he's for it and he hasn't said that he's against it. And that's what I that that's my argument, and his argument was, well, Trump hasn't said that he he's for it, but he he knows about it, he knows what it is, and he still hasn't said that he's against it, period. So in that, you know, I'm I'm I can't fuck with that dude. I gotta vote for the other person. I have to, even if it's a fucking sandwich. I have to vote for the other person if this person cannot renounce white supremacy, if he cannot renounce his racism as he goes to all these churches and everybody fucking Uncle Tom's over his ass. It just makes me fuck. It's just ridiculous. And if he can't renounce Project 2025, I can't fuck with that. And if you fuck with that, you if you can sit up there and defend that, then then miss me. Period. And I stand strong on that. I had to tell my friend I had to tell him, hey, man. I'm scared. I'm scared. People are scared of Project 2025. Can you get that? You can't because you're not me. You don't identify with me. You don't have your ear to the black community because you ain't black. You're white. So either way, you're going to be fine. We need representation. We need somebody who is going to represent all of us, not just a particular part of the population, if you get what I'm saying. And not only that, somebody who isn't going to cut away all of our rights that we have fought and died for since we were brought to this motherfucker. So until this motherfucker renounces that shit, I'm sorry. I have to go the other direction. You got to leave me the fuck alone. You got to bounce, especially if this is who you're defending. Oh, well, all these trials that we're going, these, this is all bogus. Really, motherfucker, 91 charges are bogus? No. Some of the shit is gu- you're guilty. And people act like, oh, well, uh, if he said he didn't do it, maybe. Listen, listen, all right, L- listen. In real life, okay, not political life, real life, right? We know a motherfucker that did some shit bad. We know he did some shit bad. You know what I'm saying? But he he tell everybody that he didn't do that shit bad. But all shit points to this motherfucker doing that shit, right? Anybody else? Anybody else? We, oh, man, come on, man, with that bullshit. Well, you all know. Everybody know you did it. It's like 
It's like fucking a bitch. You tell a motherfuckers you didn't fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's like fucking somebody. You telling somebody you didn't. I didn't fuck her. No, I didn't fuck that bitch. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. We all know you did. <laughs> we all know you did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, bro. She told everybody. You 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 don't have to lie. It's not. But you stand up in it. You continue to stand up in it, and it just makes you look worse. Except for the people. Or just fucking idiots. Or, I mean, I don't know what it is. And, and, and I'm sorry, excuse me. And I don't want to call people idiots. And that's one thing I, I don't want to do. I want, I, want, I want to get away from that. And that's one thing that I have done on my social media. Like, for the next few days, I'm, I'm really trying my best to avoid any type of political material. I really am. I'm trying to not listen to this shit so much or see this shit in my timeline and every time i come across some divisive shit i go up to the three little dots and i you know i i go either to unfollow or mute or hide because i just don't want to see this shit anymore because it's divisive but people are eating it up like food and i really don't want to be uninformed but i don't want this shit to consume my life and everybody else you shouldn't let it consume yours either we could really have a beautiful society here, folks, if we were an inclusive society, if we cared about everybody else's opinions, if we thought about everybody else's plight, you know, the things that they have to go through in life, if we actually gave a shit about each other. But the more we follow these politicians, the more we're going to spiral into this, I don't care about you and you don't care about me, and black versus white and white versus black. The more we listen to these people, the more it's going to be that way. Now, I'm saying this, and I'm, and I'm going to stick by this. The government needs to be inclusive, okay? Everyone needs to be represented. Everyone that walks this country all right. Everybody that is on American soil that calls themselves Americans needs to be represented in government. Maybe we need a U.N. of the United States. Maybe we need something like that. Where we're going to sit down in here and we're going to get it together no matter what. Instead of when you cross over the Florida line, now all you're seeing is welcome to the free state of Florida. Because you're a douchebag governor who thinks that motherfuckers should be above the law. That thinks black people benefited from slavery. And that's the shit I'm talking about. That's the shit we have to get rid of, folks. That's the kind of shit that we have to get rid of. There's another law that just got passed. That just got passed a few a few months ago where there's a town someplace in Mississippi or Louisiana, one of those states one of those states where these white folks won the the right to build their own white town they have their own municipality now with their own police and you know they won that right to have their own white town really but if black people talk about doing shit like that it's a big ass fucking deal oh man you're gonna i don't think that's good for you yeah that's 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 horrible that uh, 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 uh. i think it's necessary I think it's necessary that black folks either A, start to put their own things in place or B, have somebody in government, put somebody in government that's going to look out for these issues also on top of the issues of every other American. And when the politicians agree, when politicians agree, finally come to agree that all people in this country are Americans, and they all deserve the same amenities, the same treatments, the same, the same freedoms. They all deserve the same things. They deserve schools in their neighborhood. They deserve hospitals in their neighborhoods. They deserve funding when it comes down, not just this part of society. Because that's the way that it is. And then they have the nerve to say, well, this society over here is is uneducated. Well, because you guys take all the fucking money and you put it into the schools on this side of fucking town. Split it evenly. Put up If you put a high school over here, put one over here. If you get teachers from over here, get teachers from over here. The same teachers. The same shit. So everybody has the same opportunities. And then you know what? Maybe there won't have to be DEI initiatives. Maybe we can get rid of DEI initiatives as soon as motherfuckers start learning that everybody deserves an opportunity. 
But as long as we got this fucking, this crew of motherfuckers we got up here now, it's just going to be more of the same. I mean, you can sit up there and just watch them bickering and beefing back and forth. I mean, just sit up there and watch this, you know, CNN or Fox News or any of these fucking, and they're just bickering back and forth, back and forth. It's dumb, man. Instead of people really trying to get together and say, all right, we have this issue. How can we all get through this issue? Well, how can we contribute? Well, what can we contribute? Well, we don't like these things. Well, we don't like these things. Well, how, how can we meet in the middle on these? Nobody ever asks how they can meet in the middle. We got to learn to meet in the middle, folks. And as long as we got these motherfuckers around us, we're never going to meet in the middle. Never going to happen. Got to be able to give people a chance and an opportunity. Somebody on Twitter said to me, because I said, I commented, man, they're trying to find everything because they're, they're coming out trying to say that she was this hoe. And I said, man, they're trying to find everything to, to slander this woman's name. But they really can't find much. And they're not really finding a much. What did they find? That she's a hoe? <laughs> That's all you find. That's all you're finding. And it's 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 just it's funny how people just people who live in glass homes throw stones. It's funny to me. Everyone deserves an opportunity. Lady, if you decided you wanted to get up and run for president, you have that you you should have that opportunity. You should have that. If you want to get up and handle your business or not, you should have that opportunity unobstructed, by the way. You should have that. That path to that job should be unobstructed. But unfortunately, it is. But finally, finally, there is somebody, regardless if you like her or not, who is challenging that who is here to challenge that old hierarchy. All these old politicians, this old money, somebody who's finally here to challenge that. All these, all these men. We've seen what you've done to this country, fellas. Maybe it's time to give a woman an opportunity to see what she can do. Because if you think a woman isn't capable of running the United States, you're a dumbass. You're a fucking dumbass. And I'll call it, I'll call you that in, in your face. Because she is not only qualified, but I believe she is very capable. I think she's very capable. And I think the sooner people realize that, the better off we'll be here in this country. The sooner that people realize that divisiveness is not how you make this country great. But inclusivity is how you really make this country great. Until people start realizing that, we are always going to have this. It's always going to be bullshit. Somebody always going to be trying to make their way to the top so they can take away rights and install special privileges and shit like that. That's the shit we have to fight against, folks. Not each other. We don't fight against each other. We cannot fight against each other. We are stronger together than we are apart. We have to understand that. And they understand that. And that is why they are trying to keep us apart. Because they need to be strong. They need to keep their strength. They need to keep their power. They need to keep their control. It can't be that way, folks. It cannot be that way. Muslims, Jews, Christians, everybody has the right to worship who they want in this country. Everyone, man. The fact that some places are forcing the Pledge of Allegiance or the, I'm sorry, not the Pledge of Allegiance, but the, yeah, well, even that. The Ten Commandments, though, forcing the Ten Commandments to be taught or displayed in schools, that's, that's ridiculous, by the way. That is ridiculous. And to suggest that the government be governed by, by 
be a, a Christian-based government, that's ridiculous also because that's not inclusive, and it doesn't represent everyone in America, and it's just that simple. Muslims, let me ask you a question. Do Christians represent you? No. Christians, let me ask you a question. Do Jews represent you? No, even though sometimes Christians are a little fucking confused. Not a little, a lot. Christians are fucking confused. <laughs> Christians are fucking confused, y'all. They just are. We need more definitive, more definitive... Just a more definitive purpose in this country. Something that that involves everyone. And I'm going to say, has diversity, equity, and inclusion. I am a firm believer in that. And like I said, the sooner you motherfuckers start passing out the funds and creating legislation to hurt people, the sooner we can get rid of the DEI initiatives. For real. The sooner that those things can go away. Because that, you want to know how, I mean, and that's, this is it. You want to know how to get rid of them, folks? All right. To all you conservatives out there listening to my shit, you want to know how to get rid of the DEI initiatives? Huh? Share the wealth. Not even share the wealth. Divide things up evenly. Vote evenly. Vote for the people, not for your fucking selves. Vote to put schools in black neighborhoods instead of flyovers or wider sidewalks in white neighborhoods. Vote to put hospitals. Commit to some construction projects, some infrastructure rebuilding in these places. Give these people real amenities. Give them a real hope. Give them real chance because... Their ancestors busted their ass while they were here. And the fact that they live like this is fucking ridiculous. Their ancestors didn't have a choice. Either they worked or they were beat or killed. These people shouldn't be living like this. My people shouldn't be living like this. So, I think this is going to do it for this week's episode of the Darren Harris Podcast. Think about it, folks, man. Think about it. Kamala Harris. Well, <laughs> she already has my vote anyway. <laughs> but think about it, though, folks. A black woman. A mixed race woman. A forward thinking woman. A woman for president. I mean, what's, what's, what do we have to lose? I'll tell you what we have to lose. Our fucking democracy. So if you're with democracy, folks, if you are with democracy, if you love our democracy then I hope you understand the assignment I want to thank my parents for giving me this mouth my wife for being awesome supportive I want to thank my producer Jesse Yandel a blonde haired blue eyed white guy who's my best friend man for candidly and openly talking about these things with me and being receptive and being open and being supportive. I really want to thank you, man. I thank you for that. I want to thank Gentry Thomas for giving me this platform. I'm going to thank you every single week, G. I appreciate you, man. Every single week, man, he gives me this platform to come up here and, and talk about it. And Gentry's a white guy, too. Gentry's a white guy, too. But I feel this guy, man. I feel G because G, he, he understands. You know, he wants to understand. 
you know, I mean, he really wants to understand. And I do, I appreciate that from him. And the fact that he gives me my platform, both my platforms, because I got another podcast that I don't do very often, but I'll probably do one here soon. It's called Black Lives Don't Matter. Go check it out. He gives me my platform to, to, to reach out, man, to try to get this word out to people, to try and get it out to people who this matters to. You know, and I do appreciate that. And I want to thank my listeners, man. I want to thank, if you guys are sitting here right now, you motherfuckers are the shit. <laughs> if you're sitting here right now, listening to my voice right now, you motherfuckers are the shit. I can't, I can't, whether you be lefties or righties. If you're listening to me right now, if you stuck through, you motherfuckers are the shit. Thank you very much for listening to my podcast, man. And I know I babble on a lot about a lot of things, but I really do try and give you guys the best content I can. I try and bring you things that or perspectives that maybe you have and can't say or maybe you don't have or never thought about. That is my goal and that is my mission to bring everybody here something. You know what I'm saying? So if 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 you guys are down, man, join me on follow, social, join my social media. It's Darren T. Harris Comedian on Instagram and Darren Ture, T-E-R-A-E Harris on Facebook. Join me. And um, I'm also on uh, on on YouTube. You can join me on my YouTube. You know what I mean? Join me, man. I'm putting up videos. I'm trying to put up stuff. I put up a lot of stuff about the stuff I'm talking about. Now, I can't do it because social media likes to sub suppress and censor a lot of shit. And that's why I do my podcast because fuck. Instagram <laughs> because I can say what I want on my podcast man you know what I'm saying but I can't on social media because you get shadow banned they they cut your content all kind of shit like that so if you really want to know what I think you know you can follow me on social media if you want to get some funny funny but you know, keep listening to my podcast man and and I promise I will continue to try to bring you the best content that I can from the bottom of my heart folks okay I love y'all I'll see y'all next week I hope your mental health is good you know, stand up in it, man. And let's go get this. All right. Let's go secure our democracy, folks. All right. President Harris, 2024. Peace. You've been listening to the Darren Harris podcast. Subscribe to the show. Give a good rating. And everything you need to know is at DarrenHarris.com. Hey, folks, what's good? It's Darren from the Darren Harris Podcast. Yo, check this out. Recently, my wife and I decided that we were going to try to change our diet because we want to live a little more healthy. Now, we usually go to Whole Foods, but Whole Foods is really far, like really far because we live kind of in a rural area. My producer told me about this Factor Foods, and I wanted to see what it was about, so I decided to place an order. Now, I haven't got my first box yet, but from what I understand, you can choose from like six menu preferences. There's 35 different meals, 55 different add-ons. You don't have to get in your car and drive anywhere. You don't have to go shopping for anything. You don't have to come home and prep anything after work. You don't have to wash any dishes or any clean anything up afterwards. It's ready in two minutes in the microwave. It's awesome if you're trying to meet weight loss goals or wellness goals, or if you just want to eat better food. You can tailor a specific diet for yourself. It doesn't matter what it is. If you're looking for a high protein, protein diet or completely vegan options it literally does not matter you could be a lactose intolerant pescatarian that only eats salmon broccoli and brussels sprouts and they will send it to you every single meal every single day for the rest of your life if you want to now that's a little extreme but you know what i mean and the absolute best part about it for me is it's always fresh and never frozen which is a really big deal and it's delivered right to your front door so i'm extremely excited to get my first box to see what the hype is about i think it's great you can get chef quality food delivered right to your house with no cleanup no shopping no prep work no problem if you want to try it out for yourself which i think you should you can head over to factormeals.com forward slash darren 50 to get 50 percent off your first box but wait, there's more. You also get 20% off your entire next month. So again, factormeals.com forward slash Darren 50 to get 50% off that first box that you order and 20% off your entire next month. So keep checking back with me. Keep listening to the podcast. And I will definitely let you know as soon as I get this first box, how everything went down. So one more time, it's factormeals.com forward slash Darren 50 to get 50% off of your first box and 20% off your entire next month.